Hi third graders! Welcome to Class of Math! In this video, we will decide whether to find an estimate or an exact number. And we will do that by looking at different problems. Let's see if we can make the right decisions whether to find an exact amount or just an estimate. Okay, here we have a first problem. It says, Nita has 178 pennies in her piggy bank. Eduardo has 231 pennies in his piggy bank. About how many pennies do they have in all? Now, are we here to find the exact amount or just an estimate? In this case, you can estimate the answer since the question asks about how many. When you see the word about how many, they just want you to find the estimate. And to do that, we will round the number of pennies each child has to the nearest hundred. So, 178 rounds to 200, and 231 rounds to 200. And by looking at the problem, I can tell that this is a problem of addition, because they're asking me to find out how many do they have in all. So we're going to add 200 plus 200 equals 400. And my answer is they have about 400 pennies in all. So as you can see, this was a case of estimation. All we needed to do, just get the about amount, okay? Just the estimated amount. Now let's look at another problem. Here we have some girl guides have to make 500 oatmeal cookies for a charity fun fair. They bake 92 cookies on Monday and 268 cookies on Tuesday. How many more cookies do they still have to make? Okay, let's think. Do we need to find an exact number or just an estimate? Now, in this case, you will have to find the exact number because an exact answer is needed since the question asks how many more? When we see how many more question, we have to get the exact answer. Let's do it. So we need to first add 92 plus 268 because we need to find out how many they already baked in these two days. And the total is 360. Well, but they need to make 500 oatmeal cookies. To find out how many more they still have to make, we have to subtract that amount from 500. So 500 minus 360 equals 240. And that gives us the exact answer of how many cookies they still have to make. 140 more cookies. Okay, so this was a case of an exact answer. We needed to get the exact answer because of the question, how many more? Here we have different scenario. Miss Blake has $900. She wants to buy an oven for $257 and a washing machine for $518. Does Miss Blake have enough money? Okay, do you need an exact answer or an estimate? Here we just need to find out if the sum of these two items that she wants to purchase is less or equal to $900. So that means we will just need to use an estimate to see if Mrs. Blake has enough money. If you see the have enough money in your word problem, then you will be estimating the answer. Okay, let's do it. We need to first round each amount of money to the nearest hundred. So 257 is about 300, 518 is about 500. And now we need to add these two items to find out if it's less or equal to 900. And our answer is 300 plus 500 equals to 800. And that tells us that Miss Blake has enough money. And again, in this scenario, all we needed to do is just to get an estimate answer. Okay, one more problem here to look at. Darren has $379. After buying two of the chairs, Darren has $136 left. In this problem, we'll have to solve two questions. First one says, how much do the two chairs cost? Okay, so do you need an exact answer or an estimate? When they ask us how much do the two chairs cost, you need to 
get the exact answer when you see the word how much. So I'll underline my word how much because that's my keyword telling me to get an exact answer. So let's do that. Let's do subtraction because we need to find out how much he actually spent, how much he spent on these two chairs. $379 minus 136 gives us 243. So the two chairs that he purchased cost $243. So this was a scenario where we needed to get an exact answer because we had the word how much in the word problem. Now let's look at the question number two that is asking us which two chairs does Darren buy? As you can see here, we have the flyer that tells you the prices of each chair. And we know that he spent $243 on chairs. We just need to find out which one did he buy. And to do that, do we need to get an exact answer or just an estimate? An estimate is enough to decide which two chairs Darren buys. We'll round the cost of each item to the nearest hundred. Dining chair, we see that it was $105 and we will round it to 100. Armchair, 177 rounds to 200 and computer chair, 138 rounds to 100. So now we can tell that if I add the dining chair and the armchair, the cost will be 300. And if I add the dining chair and the computer chair, the cost is about $200. And we know that he spent $243. So Darren buys the dining chair and the computer chair. And this is how we got to the answer. If we needed to find out what two chairs he purchased that are about $243. All we needed to use in this scenario was an estimate. All right, everyone, I hope that you paid attention to the keywords that we had in each problem, because if you see about how many, or do we have enough, you will be estimating. And if you see keyword how much, or how many more, you are finding exact number. Okay, now is your turn. In your independent work, you will find these instructions. You need to decide whether you need to find an estimate or an exact answer and you need to solve the problem. So read your problem carefully. And if you answer the question, if it's an exact or estimate answer that you need to find, you will get five points. And if you solve it correctly, you will get another five points, which gives you a total of 10 points. Please remember that because we all love God, we have to decide to obey not just about everything he says, but exactly everything he says. You're amazing third graders. We love you very much. And I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Have a great day. Bye.